We are quickly approaching the Panthers' first preseason game, now just three days away. The team is hosting the New York Jets and new quarterback Aaron Rodgers on Saturday at Bank of America Stadium. Yeah, today the two teams kick off joint practice to finally face off against someone not on their team. That's right. <laughs> WFMY News 2's Amanda Ferguson joins us now live from training camp at Walford College. It may be quiet out here now, but it was loud and packed earlier today. I mean, this place was full of fans. It was a big day here at Panthers training camp. Joint practices with Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets kicking off. Not only is it an opportunity for the team to go up against another team, but it's a chance for fans to see one of the league's greats. A lot of fans out here to see Aaron Rodgers. I caught up with a family from Yadkin County. Aaron Molden says he doesn't go to Panthers games much because he is a loyal Jets fan. First ballot Hall of Famer, you got to come see him. You got to come see him. He's changing the face. This is our year. This is our year. It's a great experience. I'm from North Carolina. We're big Jets fans, been since 95. So getting to experience it close to home, it's a great experience. Carolina, Carolina fans are good too, so not bad. As for the Panthers, we caught up with wide receiver LaVisca Chenault Jr. after practice with the Jets. Here's part of our conversation. LaVisca, what's it like to have practice with the Jets today? Oh, it was really good, really good. Very comp competitive team for sure. Um, it was fun. It was fun getting out there. How are you feeling out here with your first camp with the Panthers? Uh, I'm feeling real good. Um, being, being with a team that I feel like is, is, is really trying to invest in me and really really understanding me for who I, and, and understanding who I am, um, it's been real fun. You came at the end of last season. You've done a little bit with the team. I've seen some flashes of you. Mm -hmm. But what excites you about this offense that's coming in here? Um, what excites me? Um, I think that a, a bunch of us is, is, is somewhat young, and but we also got a little mixture of, of, of vets in there. So um, I think I think I think that matters because vets can tell you tell you how things has went, and and with, when young guys been in, it's, it's fresh bodies. And, and, and hungry and hungry bodies, so it should be fun. That's a good thing. Right. Now that we're getting towards the end of camp, what have you seen out of Bryce Young? Oh, well, I mean, what haven't you seen? He's so calm, cool, and collected. Um, it, it's 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 really unexplainable, honestly. I love I love seeing him practice every day. Excited to play with him? Oh yeah, too excited. Overall, a pretty good day out here on both sides of the ball. Head coach Frank Reich was very pleased. The players agreed, too. We didn't see any fights, which is a good thing. It did get pretty heated out here, though, but that's what you can expect when another team comes here. The intensity just amplifies when you're out in that environment with another team. Now, coming up at 5, we're going to hear from a new guy on the team, but he's not a stranger to the triad.